Hey everybody, welcome back to LaserDisc Repair Bench. Uh, I've got a little bit of a quicker video tonight. We're going to go over how to put a uh, optical digital out on a Pioneer CLD D504. Uh, so I skipped a lot of the prep. I went ahead and I took the cover off, uh, powered it up, injected the tray. The tray is still attached to the unit over here and um, just unplugged from wall power. Uh, so it gives me really good access to the board down here. Uh, we've got three tap points that we're going to need. Um, and that's it. It's a pretty quick mod. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. The initial tap points I showed, one was wrong, and it's the most important one pretty much, was the digital out signal right here. This is not the right one. Uh, so the ground and 5 volts are fine right here, but this does not go uh, to IC802, integrated circuit, 802. Um, we're looking for pin 43 on this integrated circuit. That is what gives us digital audio out. And so what I did is soldered a lead onto here, put it on a alligator clip, hooked it to my multimeter, and then drug everything up here. And I did not get anything, no ring outs. So that tells me that that lead was not passed up here. Uh, I thought it was. So I take back that this is an easy mod. Um, this is not too hard to get this board out. You have to take this back panel out, the half of the back panel, you have to take the video board out right here. And uh, But these ribbon cables are all super easy to detach. So I'm just adding this as an addendum. Uh, you do have to remove this board. Solder lead onto pin 53. Snake that cable back around up here and connect it to your uh, SPDF uh, toss link uh, adapter, whatever they call it nowadays. And then you're in business. Force around. And then we've got a uh, positive 5 volts right here. And then we've got our ground connection. And I'll uh, highlight that and zoom in a little bit um, on the video. For anybody with a uh, CLD V5000 industrial model, uh, exact same board, exact same tap points in case uh, you're sitting around wanting to put a digital out on that. The next thing we've got to do is uh, take off the back panel. Luckily, with the CLD D504, they've split the back panel, so it makes it really easy to take off just the part we need to work on uh, and cut the hole in. Uh, so let's flip over to that view and we'll take a look at that. So now we're at the back panel. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take the necessary screws out. Uh, one screw I forgot about on the inside right there. So uh, this is the panel <clears throat> and as you can see there's a couple uh, underwriter laboratory uh, signs right here. We want to avoid punching through those. It just looks ugly. Um, so we don't have a lot going on in this area and we don't have a lot going on kind of like right above uh, the left and right channels. So this would be a good spot. We're kind of close to the tray. Uh, this would be another good spot as well. It's kind of tight, um, but either one of those should work. So we just have to, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use a Dremel. Uh, Dremels help, you can just uh, basically cut a square in there and then file it out a little bit, or you can drill a round hole with a drill bit and do a lot more filing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the hole. Nobody needs to watch that. And uh, then we'll get to the soldering. Uh, one thing I failed to mention, um, I have this jig here. It helps me put uh, a hole 
in kind of the right spot. I lay it down, mark my spot for the square, and then the circle right above it is for the set screw uh, to hold it in place on the chassis once it's mounted. So I'll put a link in the description to um, this. It's a pretty basic STL file, uh, but if anybody's curious wants to download it, uh, I'll make it public and you can go grab it. Okay, so I took the time uh, to get my hole uh, drilled. I did the drilling and uh, my bit slipped a couple times accidentally. Um, but I went ahead and I filed the hole. Uh, here's what it looks like. I got a little close to the tray uh, catch, but um, we are below it. I did mount it sideways. I normally like to go up and down, but um, this will work. So uh, the next step is going to be to clean up this. We're going to cut these plastic supports off. You need those normally if you're slotting this into a board, which we are not. So in the order it goes closest to me is ground, 5 volt power, and then FM source in. So we're going to just go ahead and tin this. We're just going to turn that around. It's a little bit easier to solder on to. So now what I like to do is put a little bit of heat shrink tubing around the end of the wire just in case they try to short on each other at some point. So now we have mounted to the to the back plate. We've got our pigtail lead, and we're ready to solder this into the board, and then we'll be finished. All right, last step here. Uh, we have the wires that have been shortened and tinned, and so I'm just going to put a little bit of solder. On these jumpers so I have something to grab onto so that was my ground connection this is going to be 5 volts signal wire back I'm trying to get this integrated so it lays down with the ribbon cable as well okay so just to recap 5 volts ground colors can be whatever you want as long as you know what you are doing um, this is my sample piece I always keep on the bench. Um, these different colors, but I know exactly what they are. Uh, black is pretty much always ground for me. Uh, red is usually 5 volts, and yellow is signal cable. Uh, so I just keep that handy for reference. Uh, so the next thing would be to spin this thing around, turn it on, and just we're going to check for light. Uh, that'll make sure we got ground and we've got power to the unit, uh, to the um, optical output rather and then we'll test for signal. Well, we have the back put back together. Uh, we've got the jack right here, 
And I'm going to go ahead and fire this flare up and just make sure we get a light. Uh, one thing to note for this model, the CLD D504, is you this does not initially light up. It lights when you start, uh, when you put a disc in. So let's go ahead and put disc in. And we have a light. All right, we've got digital audio out. So the last thing would be to hook this up to a receiver and make sure we have good output. And now for the test. So we've got uh, the player hooked up via optical cable to a receiver. And we're just gonna pop a disc in with a digital track. And just make sure we get a signal and we should hear some volume. All right, we do have sound. It works. Hooray. Thanks for watching, everybody.